welcome to our week three kickoff video. Um, we are in the middle of week two swaps right now, and I just want to say you ladies are absolutely incredible. Uh, we're halfway done and um, with, with the entire program, and I think of some of the benefits so far, and I'm really, really proud of everything that we've accomplished thus far. Um, but week three is what it's all about. So, absolutely, um, every benefit you've every benefit that you've had so far. Um, just think about intensifying that by two, three, maybe even ten times just this week. Um, you you could have done nothing right so far and just got serious for this week, and all the benefits that we listed can literally happen in just these seven days. Um, so. It, obviously, that depends on how you treat this week, mm -hmm. um, but it really is that powerful. And that's why it's really important that we recommit. <laughs> Sorry, it's just so weird <laughs> having Maddie right next to me. It's kind of fun that we're doing this together. Finally. <laughs> Probably the lead <laughs> parts of this, maybe not. We'll see. Maybe all. Maybe. <laughs> um, so it's really important that we recommit this week and that um, you kind of hit the reset button. Okay. What I want you to understand is that. Uh, what matters is what you do from this point forward. What's happened up to this point has happened up to this point. You can't change the past. You can't redo it. But what you can do is restart starting now. And I'm going to tell you, if there's a time to hit the reset button to say, I'm in, I'm freaking committed, I'm going to go all out. It's right now for this week because this week is the week that makes all the difference in how you feel and the weight loss and achieving your goals and long-term benefits. It's the cleansing week. And Maddie's going to go through some of the details there. So. Yeah. so why cleanse besides my favorite, which I like to call the healthy high? Because once you feel it, you you'll just, you'll find yourself on a completely new track in life. So, mm -hmm. um, but you will experience increased energy. You'll be able to sleep better. Um, all those things on that toxicity quiz, maybe you struggle going to the bathroom or you have s skin problems or rashes or, or acne or any of those things, they can go away in seven days um, on this program. Um, you'll, your, your senses, uh, whether your hearing or your eyes, they all get better. Your cognitive thinking, you'll just be clearer, more focused. Um, tons of things. Your self-confidence is going to skyrocket. Um, I couldn't believe when I did this cleanse just in seven days, uh, I did a before and after picture, and I was like, whoa, really? Um, just so many powerful things. Um, and I... Just wait till you feel it. So um, I've done lots of cleanses. I've been doing cleanses for 11 years, which is crazy to think about. And this by far is my favorite cleanse that I've ever done. So we've taken my favorite cleanse, Maddie's favorite cleanse. We've simplified it, and we've created this program for you. There's nothing out there like this out there. So um, what we're calling this is a liver-loving, colon-caring cleanse. So detoxifying and inflammation reducing. And how cleanses work is they remove the toxins from your body. Um, and toxins are stored in your fat cells. And even if we're in really good shape, uh, there, our organs are made mostly of fat. So uh, our organs are stressed out by all this toxic load that they're carrying. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove, we're going to eat tons of really great foods to move those toxins out of our organs and get our body working properly. Um, so uh, there are two main things, well three, but what Nadine covered was your liver and your colon. And a third one is going to be your thyroid, which regulates your hormones. But the liver and the thyroid are the two main components that are going to affect your metabolism. And I should have you right there. Get your metabolism working. Mm -hmm. But even more than that is on the cellular level, level, you have these things called mitochondria, which are in fact responsible for metabolism. And by detoxing, you allow those to work again. Mm -hmm. um, and that will affect your entire body. Um, yeah, the liver is the most important. Fun it functions as one of the most crucial to your weight loss. So that's the part we really want to cleanse out because there's mm -hmm. probably a bunch of stuff in there that yeah. doesn't. And then anymore. obviously the colon to move it out. Yes. 
so physically move it out. Colon's like the body's plumbing system. So it like flushes everything out. So Yeah. And then um, there we're also, this whole detox process is going to work on um, healing the neurotransmitters in your mm-hmm. brain that regulate your appetite. Mm-hmm. And then also they regulate your hormones and how, um, what sort of signals they're sending you as far as being hungry or, or you get the gist. Mm-hmm. So, so the, we're saying ready, set, glow, and that's kind of what, what we're doing here. And we got that from um, the Fast Track Detox. So this is the Fast Track Detox and the Ultra Simple Diet combined. If you want to read up on those, mm-hmm. that's the, the sources there. And we're really focused on 12 categories. Let me triple check that. I've done this already once because we recorded and it wasn't recording. Um, 13 categories. Um, the first seven are the ones that you cannot do in excess, okay? Do it, eat them up. Um, there are no limits. You, you can eat them constantly, all the time, as much as you want, okay? First category is the crucifers, which are the? Cruciferous vegetables. Yeah, she says it's so much more eloquent than I do. Um, you want a minimum half a cup of this. By the way, this is all going to be in a worksheet for you, but I would still be taking notes. Um, and it's going to feel like a lot. Because it is, but you're allowed to eat a lot, which is great. Um, so minimum of a half a cup of either cabbage or cauliflower or Brussels sprouts or broccoli or broccoli sprouts. And this stimulates your liver detox pathways. This is good, good stuff. The second category is the green goodness, the green leafy vegetables and herbs. Right, Maddie? You're a master at by now. Yeah. The half a cup cooked or one cup raw, bare minimum, okay? Uh, these are chlorophyll-rich greens. They are so powerful as blood purifiers. They're natural internal deodorizers. They're a great source of magnesium, which helps the liver manufacture enzymes smoothly and efficiently. Um, again, this stuff is goodness to our body and our health. Third category is the citrus. Either one orange or the juice of half a fresh lemon or lime. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Do not buy the store-bought stuff. Um, This stuff is full of vitamin C. This is the most liver-loving vitamin of all. It simulates the production of liver. Um, It's a premier antioxidant. And it's really important to add to your cooking to make it taste good. Mm -hmm. So it makes everything so much more delicious, I think. Uh, The sulfur-rich foods is the fourth category, which is things like garlic, onions, daikon, radishes. Um, This is one of the processes by which the liver eliminates toxins. It's known as sulfation, uh, which makes the toxins easier to eliminate. So this actually helps uh, the toxins eliminate easier, and it aids in digestion and the metabolism of fats. Um, More yummy foods for cooking. Number five is the liver healers. Um, So artichokes, um, asparagus, beets, uh, what again the raw the healthy stuff okay mm-hmm. don't buy the, a lot of the canned stuff has actual sugar in it so you got to watch for that stuff um dandelion root tea yeah dandelion root tea is phenomenal celery nutritional yeast flakes um there are so many benefits to this uh, the dandelion root tea for example i i, I really encourage that access as, as a probiotic um, the nutritional yeast flakes has, listen to this, I, I love nutritional yeast flakes because you can kind of sprinkle it on everything. Um, sorry, I get excited about nutritional yeast flakes. Smoothies. Yes, that's my life. Soups, everything. Um, it's complete, it's a complete protein. It contains 18 amino acids, 15 minerals, and it's a stellar source of B vitamins. So it's really, really good. And then the sixth category is the colon curing foods. You want at least two of the following, the milder ground flax seeds, which again, you can sprinkle on your veggies, in your smoothies, um, on your salad, um, or one small carrot, or one small apple, or one small pear, or a cup of berries. Um, And again, you can't have too much, so you can eat those up throughout the day. Um, Be careful of moldy fruits, okay? Um, The mold actually will block and will will restrict the cleansing process. It can have negative effects for all the good that you're doing. Yeah, yes. so uh, moldy fruits like bananas or melons or um, things along those Tropical lines. Fruits Tropical there. fruits. It's another one to be careful with. Yep. Just fresh is best. Yep. Um, water, okay, you cannot overdo it here. Um, but at least half your body weight in ounces, this is going to be part of the cleanse. So it's not going to be like level two, you're cute. It's going to be, no, we need to do half your body weight in ounces every single day. And by now, hopefully, that, that shouldn't feel overwhelming to you. Um and then the, the protein. So you want at least one to two servings a day of the protein. 
Um, and these are these are your options that you can choose from. You can do organic, organic, organic skinless chicken or local skinless chicken. Okay, so it's not loaded with hormones and God knows what else. That's really important. Mm -hmm. Or cold water fish like sardines, herring, uh, wild salmon, cod, or sole. And then you can do beans and legumes. You can do lentils. Um, and I would I would prepare your your grain your beans properly, and you you should know that from week two information. If you have not watched that video, mm -hmm. um, I would rewatch that. But lentils, navy beans, chickpeas, tofu just makes it easier to digest. Yeah. And the protein. be careful with the tofu. When we say tofu, we yes. mean tofu, not mm -hmm. soy products. Yeah, um, it has to be a whole food thing. Yeah, so, so, so the soy tofu. will actually hurt the cleanse as well. Yes. So especially processed. Um, and then the next category that Maddie's going to go through that we want to encourage you to eat is the stuff you want to do um, in moderation. So you you don't want to go overboard with this, but um, this is still acceptable, really good for you. Yeah. And basically everything Nadine has covered so far is a power food mm -hmm. that we've already talked about. Mm -hmm. And you can't overdo power food. So um, these ones, um, we're going to we're gonna do brown rice. Um, one to two cups a day, no more. Uh Brown rice is a staple in all the cultures that have really long lives, really long lifespans. Um, just really good for you. It can really help your digestion, depending on who you are. You can also have nuts and seeds throughout this. Um, this isn't something that you have to have to do well, um, but if you need a salty snack, or um, I personally like using having the option to use nut butters and nut milks. Mm -hmm. Be moderate. Mm -hmm. Don't know um, Because our yeah. bodies can't handle too much of that. Yeah. So if you're if you're eating that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, your body won't be cleansing. And if you have a, a high weight loss goal, then it's something mm -hmm. you definitely want to watch in moderation. Yeah. Um, if you have a really high weight loss goal, I wouldn't even do nuts or seeds unless you really feel like you need them. Yeah. Okay. So, um, number 11, uh, I like to call these metabolism boosters. Um, the first one's going to be familiar. It is the hot lemon water. And do this first thing in the morning, get your body working. Um, I'm not going to explain how to do it. You should already know. Uh, the second thing, though, is going to be um, green tea. And if caffeine is going to be an issue for you, you're definitely going to want to add this because it's the only caffeine that you're going to be able to get. And don't add sugar. Say, I know, Nadine. <laughs> no sugar, but you can add lemon if, if that helps the flavor of the green tea for you. Um, Again, it's an herbal product, it's a power food, it's going to do really wonderful things for your body, uh, and, and it'll help you wean off that caffeine if you need to. Um, and then with that is a, a veggie broth. It's basically like a soup broth that you're going to make, and essentially all this is, is all these power foods that Nadine's talked about, condensed into just a one cup drink that you can um, it's just going to intensify that detox mm -hmm. process, get more of those vitamins and nutrients, mm -hmm. more of those vital nutrients and liquid form running through your body and getting it um, cleansed and clean and pretty. Um, number 12, this is probably my favorite part, and this is a daily detox bath. Mm -hmm. Okay, And these are really easy. And I know I say the word bath and you're like, how am I going to have time for that? 20 minutes. Your shower is probably 20 minutes. So um, there's a handout if you want to look at it, but why the detox bath? I mentioned, my face. Um, I mentioned that um, one of the ways we detox is through our skin. Mm -hmm. And when you get in this detox bath, you're actually going to be drawing toxins out of your skin. Mm -hmm. The other way is going to be through our bowel movement, and we'll be able to see that throughout the week. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> just... Yeah. You just wait. You, you just wait, exactly. <laughs> um, but we can remove stuff through our skin, so we might as well do that too. And the detox bath is basically um, two cups Epsom salt and one cup baking soda mm -hmm. and then lavender essential oils. Mm. We use 10 drops. Yes. That one has the really... And if you need somewhere to buy essential oils, talk to me. <laughs> um, mine. So... Uh, how the detox bath works is the magnesium from the Epsom salts is actually going to literally pull toxins out of your skin. Um, so don't drink your bath water. I would do that. <laughs> um, it relaxes your nervous system, which lowers the cortisol, um, which uh, cortisol is what help, keeps belly fat in us. Um, so that's going to help remove the belly fat around our waist. 
And we're going to talk about belly fat next week, by the way. Yes, a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to increase the, the baking soda in the um, bath is going to help to increase your heart rate. So it's actually like getting moderate exercise, except for you're soaking in a bath. It's very interesting, and you'll actually be able to feel your heartbeat rising, and that's totally normal. Um, and then you're going to increase the sweating and eliminate toxins that way as well. So take the detox bath. I recommend daily. Again, it's just 20 minutes. Take care of your kids while the bath water's running, whatever you got to do. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really great self-care practice. And then basically we're going to avoid all crap food, and Nadine's going to go into that. And Again, I know this sounds a lot. But I promise I haven't failed you in checklist yet. I won't fail you on this one either. Just follow the checklist and you're going to do great. That's true. All right. So let's talk about what we're avoiding, okay? So this stuff is going to be the stuff that will hinder your cleanse. This is all the gunk. This is all the clutter. This is all the stuff that's slowing down our metabolism, that's making us feel tired and causing headaches and menstrual cramps and sinuses and whatever else, okay? So for one week, you guys, this is only seven days of your entire life, right? Seven days. We are going to eliminate completely cut out the following things and we've categorized them into three categories the first category is the crab foods no more crab foods you know what the crab foods are you want to review all right sugar I don't know if you know how I feel about sugar <laughs> and all names all, all names versions. all sugar cane sugar brown sugar high fructose corns everything no sugar for, for that time um, no artificial sweeteners, none of the refined oils, the flour products, the fast food, the junk food. You guys know all this stuff, right? The, the, the crap food. Done. We don't touch it. We don't even come near it. We don't even, we don't even flirt with that stuff, okay? It's in a box. Avoid it. Box, yeah. can, package. Just avoid it. Um, and the other thing that we'll add to that is the counter drugs, meaning if you don't need to take uh, an over-the-counter drug, don't do it, okay? Um, Diet pills, stimulants. Um, uh, protein are, bars, any of that yeah. junk. Just, um, and even like Tylenol and stuff, you guys. If you can go without it for seven days, do it. Yeah. Okay, seven days. Now, if you, for some reason, something's going on, we're not doctors, so do what you need to do. But if you can go without it, do it. Um, second category is the okay foods. We're actually going to cut it out for this week. Okay, yes, this food is okay in moderation, but for this week, we want... We want to cleanse our bodies. This stuff is um, creates lower enzyme activity. It creates internal inflammation that inhibits your body's ability to burn fat. This is why we are going to cut it out for these seven days. So um, the natural sweeteners, we're just going to cut it out for seven days. Okay, no, no sugars, no honey, no stevia, none of that. No alcohol, okay? Um, I know that's hard. I, I know that's hard because I used to be addicted to alcohol. So I know how hard that is. Seven days, no alcohol. We're going to clean our liver. Uh, we're going to take care of it. We're going to love on it. Um, caffeine, we're going to get rid of that. Coffee, teas, sodas, energy drinks, bars. The only thing you get is the green tea that Maddie mentioned already. Um, we're going to get rid of beef, pork, lamb, any other meat. Um, except for organic poultry, which we already talked about. Um, and then the next category we're going to talk about that we're eliminating. Uh, I did not say I was just thinking that. I was like, I don't think I said dairy. dairy um, no yeah. dairy. We're cutting that out. That's a common allergen. Um, like I said on the last video, that 75% of our population is lactose intolerant. So we're going to cut that out and just see what happens to your body. And I've already set that up in the last video, I know. Um, so no milk, no butter, no yogurt, no cheese, none of that. No fake cheese, no fake anything, okay? We're getting rid of it. We have plenty of stuff we can eat. Remember, there was like 12 categories you can eat. Focus on those. Yeah. Um, allergies is the other category that we're eliminating. These are common allergens. By the way, there are people that are allergic to bananas, okay? So we're not going to get every single allergy in the world. But these are the common ones. Um, these are the ones that are causing the most issues in the United States in our society today. And um, a lot of uh, something about these, a lot of these ones are not like eat it, get a rash. A lot of these are um, right. they affect your immune system, yes. so they have more subtle effects on your body. Yes. So you really have to eliminate them to know they're there. Yes, they don't always show up in um, like allergy tests because they might just be sensitivities. Yep, yep, but that's a good point. Thank you. Effect on your health. 
So we're going to get rid of yeast or, you know, the fat is gluten, right? So we're going to get rid of all gluten products. Uh, we're going to get rid of eggs. Um, I think eggs are great, but some people have a sensitivity to eggs. So we're going to eliminate that and see how your body reacts to that um, for seven days. That's it. Okay, we're going to get rid of yeast. Um, in, and, and we're going to get rid of, I want to go back to gluten because I didn't read my notes properly, but gluten is hidden in a lot of foods, so you got to make sure you are reading ingredients. Again, you're probably not buying any of that stuff anyway, mm -hmm. um, but make sure you're reading ingredients. We're going to get rid of corn, and corn is hidden in almost everything. I have a corn allergy or sensitivity or whatever you want to call it, and a lot of times when I go out to eat, I'll get a salad thinking, okay, it doesn't have corn in it, but 80% of the time it's in the dressing. So you need to ask and you need to say, hey, I can't have corn. Can you please check? I cannot do corn. I cannot do dairy. I cannot do gluten. This is why we say don't go out to eat during don't this do week. It. It's hard. It really is. And I have done it. I've traveled doing the cleanse. So it, it's possible, but it's just a lot harder. Um, so just make sure that you're you're not just assuming there's no corn in there because you're thinking it's going to be yellow and, and corn. But it's corn starch, it's corn meal, it's corn syrup. I mean, it's just in everything. So watch, 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 no corn. Um, nightshades. Nightshades are um, vegetables that grow at night. So tomatoes, potatoes, eggplants, bell peppers. And again, I think they're fantastic, but some people have sensitivities to it. In fact, I had someone that um, I was talking to about this, and she, uh, tried, she had a lot of health issues. She tried eliminating all kinds of different things, and then finally she figured it out it was nightshades. And now she feels fantastic, and all she had to do was eliminate nightshades from her diet. So mm -hmm. we won't know unless we, we eliminate it and then introduce it back in. And then, and, did you want to say something? Yeah, I was going to say, um, if, if you get heartburn from eating things like pizza or spaghetti, um, mm. there's a good chance that nightshades might be your culprit. And then the last one is peanuts. Uh, peanuts is a very, very common allergen as well. Um, it's also but, hidden in a lot of things in peanut oil. Yes. So look out for that. Or um, just don't buy anything in a package. That'll make this easier. And guys, allergies are prevalent in our society, and a lot of our health issues, our migraines, our asthma, our hay fever, our skin issues, our digestive issues, our coughing, our sinus problems, like a lot of it is stemming from this food that we're eating, and we don't even realize it. Um, and when I talked about um, inflammation reducing, this is where allergies or allergens come into place. Um, if you've struggled with weight loss for a really long time, like you've tried stuff, you've done the right stuff, you like you're you've done the first two weeks and you're like, I'm this isn't that new. This is the part that's going to make a difference for you. Um, finding these allergens and these food sensitivities is going to allow your body to work correctly again. Um, and that's the reason why you've been struggling is because there's something inhibiting proper function in your body. Um, so, uh, did you want to tell them about your skin when you discovered your corn allergy? Yeah, I would love to actually. Um, so I've had these dry rashes that come and go. They're, they're kind of weird. I couldn't get to the bottom of them. I've been to lots of doctors. They've told me it was tinea versicolor. Another doctor will tell me it's psoriasis. Another one will tell me it's eczema. And I mean, I've gotten all kinds of stuff. I've gotten all kinds of medications. Um, I've gotten skin creams. I've gotten pills. I've got, I mean, literally all kinds of stuff. And then I got kind of got sick of it and I decided, okay, Hey, it's got to be a food thing. So I started eliminating different things and I, I cut out dairy and I cut out all kinds of stuff and nothing was working out. I finally figured out that it was corn. I actually found an awesome holistic doctor that was able to say, hey, cut out corn. The first week I saw nothing, by the way. The second week, uh, okay, I shouldn't say I saw nothing. I, I saw, okay, it, was, it wasn't, there wasn't no, no new stuff and it was kind of calming down. By the third week, it was almost all gone. Um, this is something that I've had in my life <laughs> ever since I can remember and it was corn I was I have an allergic reaction or a sensitivity to corn um, and I've seen this happen with people with headaches mm -hmm. I'm just figuring out what that um, allergy is and eliminating it mm -hmm. is it, it's life-changing for them they've struggled yeah. with headaches their whole life you don't have to struggle I promise um, and that's why cleanses are awesome if and we'll teach you how to fit, uh, keep those out. things Yep. I will say that preparation for this is absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely yep. um, imperative to doing a cleanse without feeling super restricted. Mm -hmm. 
Because if you plan on eating out all week and you mm -hmm. go to a restaurant and ask for something with no corn, no gluten, you just don't, I just don't even recommend even trying yeah. it at this point. Um, and if you try to throw it together every day, it's going to be stressful. You're going to be demotivated. You're going to be emotional. You're going to feel, I mean, it's not going to work. It's okay? going to be Preparation is going to be the name of the game. This yeah. is why you're getting the video now versus that mm -hmm. mor the morning, Monday morning. Okay, so you have all weekend to prepare yourself. Yeah. And I put together a really great preparation list that we have both come up with that should really help you. But I am going to say that the preparation this week, having that Sunday prep time, okay, mm -hmm. if you've been skipping it for... Or Saturday prep time. Or, or Saturday, yeah. whatever. You're, you're going to need um, mm -hmm. a little extra time with this. And you will thank me um, in seven days from Sunday. Mm -hmm. So... Um, do you want to do this one? No, I think I'm going to do clearing okay. the clutter at the so, end. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So preparation, a um, couple of uh, points for you. Uh, again, I've created a shopping list for you. Print that out. Review it. Okay? You want to mark off things you already have. And then you also want to, if you have any questions about something on there, you don't know what it is, mm -hmm. where to find it, ask that before you get to the grocery store so we can help you. Yep. Somebody will have an answer for you. Mm -hmm. um, look for recipes that work with the cleanse. Again, go through the recipe, look for anything you're missing that's not on my shopping list. Um, and then go to the grocery store mm -hmm. and have fun. I love grocery shopping. Me too. It's like meditative to me. Yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. Fill your car up with all those beautiful fresh foods, cruciferous vegetables and liver detoxifiers and everything. Mm -hmm. um, and then this part's really important is your food prep. You're going to have to carve out some time. This is the most important part. Yes. Um, in Part of your preparation worksheet is going to be identifying how many, I call them power preps, mm -hmm. you're going to need. So knowing what days you work, which days um, you're, like if you're working late and you're not going to be able to cook yourself dinner, you need to know that. Um, plan ahead of time for that. Um, and so you can bring the food with you, otherwise you're going to eat a cookie from a vending machine and feel not good. Right. So um, food prep, things like preparing your rice. Just cook a huge batch so you don't have to worry about it. Because um, cooking one cup or cooking five cups takes the same amount of time. Um, cooking a, a big stir fry of vegetables that covers all the categories Nadine went over. Um, so that way you can just scoop some in and be done. Mm -hmm. um, the veggie broth, okay, your metabolism boosting, detoxifying br veggie broth. Uh, make it, it's really easy, but you're definitely not going to want to make it every day. Mm -hmm. um, uh, little things like come home and cut up your lemons so mm -hmm. you can just you don't have to do anything in the morning it. mm -hmm. it's all there um, chop your strawberries think ahead of the game so in the worksheet that you're gonna get you're gonna get what Maddie um, already referred to the power prep these are kind of like cooking checkpoints is kind of how I'm looking at them so you're gonna identify and say okay I can cook on Sunday and I can cook on Wednesday or, and you're going to need to at least have two power preps, at least two. At least two. Um, but you might be able to do three. You might be able to do four. So let's say you can cook on Sunday, on Wednesday, on Friday, um, and that's all you can do. So then what you're going to do is you're going to look and go, okay, from Sunday to Wednesday, what do I need? Okay, I need this many breakfasts. I need this many lunches. I need this many snacks. This day I'm going to be at work all day, so I need snacks that are on the go. I need to package. So you're going to do all of that during your prep time, and that's why that power prep are going to be really, really important. Mm -hmm. So um, we want to make sure that you guys are preparing in advance for the next checkpoint or power prep time, okay? And one of my biggest tips for you is going to be, um, I shared this week one, to get some mason jars, okay, and just fill those up with your veggie broth or your ve vegetables and just grab them out of the fridge and be done. Yep. Okay, don't... I need to get mason jars still. It'll change your life. Yeah. I'm just the making it fun. So like for me, cooking is not fun. And the reason it's not fun for me is because I'm a, um, I'm a people person. So cooking typically is something I do by myself and I don't like to be by myself. I'm not at my best when I'm by myself. So what I do is I, I find a buddy and I talk to a buddy. So I'll FaceTime my mom and I'll make her hang out with me while I'm cooking or I'll FaceTime a friend or, um, you know, I'll, I'll do something to make cooking a more fun 
fun for me, especially when I'm, it's going to be a three, four hour adventure, uh, which mm -hmm. in some cases it might be. So um, do something to make it fun. Put on some music that you love. Just this doesn't have to be something where it's like, I have to cook. It could be something where it's like, ooh, this is my time to self care. And as you're doing it, put love into that food oh, and say definitely. prayers and just like, you know, set your intentions on the, the, the incredible journey you're about to in, embark on over the next week. And if you have a friend who loves to cook, definitely have them come over. And this help is you. why I'm friends with Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me. Um, the last point is to uh, acknowledge where you're going to run into obstacles. Mm -hmm. Okay, think about this ahead of time. Like, um, if you know that there's going to be a, a carry in lunch at work and that's going to be hard for you, um, think about how you're going to handle that ahead of time. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe you make yourself sort of a special uh, cleanse treat mm -hmm. so you I don't do feel left lot. out. Yeah. yeah, I do that a lot on the weekends because a lot of times that's where that's where my temptations come in is on the weekends when everybody yeah. else is eating junk and drinking junk and, and all of that. So I always come prepared with my own little stuff and I'm like, ooh, but I have my little, you know, muffin yeah. that's full of goodness or whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. So And we should have some good recipes for you to have some cleanse treats. Okay, but come prepared and don't let people, um, don't come unprepared and then be persuaded right. because you're empty-handed. Yep. yep. Uh, That's good. Yeah. Um, all right, let's talk about what you can expect with this thing, like mentally, emotionally, all that stuff, okay? I'm going to tell you this is going to be the hardest week you've done yet. Um, this might be the hardest week you've ever done in your life. I'm not going to lie to you as far as food and and all of that. And just realize that this is about the long term. This is about loving and caring for yourself and investing in your health and adding 10, 20 years onto your life. And yes, losing weight and feeling fantastic and getting the high and there's all the benefits, but it's not going to come easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. If it was easy, there would be no program necessary, right? We wouldn't have this program going on. Um, yeah, it'd just be life, right? So this is going to be challenging, but it's also going to be incredible. It's going to, it's going to be so worth it. Um, so what can you expect? <laughs> Some of this is going to be terrible, but it's the truth. You're going to have bad breath, like really bad breath. Like these are detox symptoms, by these the way. Are symptoms. This means that it's working. Yes. This means that the, the, the toxins are literally coming out of your body. Okay. okay. I can't tell you like the first, especially like two to five days for me, I'm just like, my breath is like, I could taste it, but I know it's cleansing my tongue. I have like this white coat on my tongue. And again, it's like all these the toxins. And the yeah. And the tongue scraper does help with that. Um, you're probably going to have constipation, although you want to treat that aggressively. Um, so, so the, um, we actually don't want you to have any constipation. So, yeah. so yeah, make sure that you're, you're talking to one of us. If you're experiencing that, um, you're going to feel achy. It's going to be like this flu, like, like you're the second or third day typically is when it hits. It's going to feel like you have the flu and you're going to be like, Oh, I'm sick. I can't do the cleanse. No, 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 no. It means it's working. Yeah. Okay. You got to keep doing it. Don't, don't break it now because the hard part is done. Okay. There's just a couple days of that. And then you're home free and you're set and you're hit that reset button on that metabolism for literally months, possibly years, possibly the rest of your life. Literally it will last for a couple of months. Yeah. And your body yeah. will be working. Yeah. It's amazing. Optimally. It's amazing. Um, you know, I've had people who've done many people who've done the cleanse and they're like, I'm still losing weight like two, three weeks after the cleanse is even over and they're eating all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, why are you eating this stuff? But, you work so hard. Okay. Um, anyway, you're going to be tired. Okay. You're going to have headaches, um, like headaches. Um, you're going to be hungry. Um, you're going to be irritable. Mm -hmm. You're going to be moody. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to have itchy skin. You're going to be nauseated. Um, itchy skin is the one that always gets me. For, it, yours must be the breath. Mine is my skin itches. Yeah. It's a good sign. Yeah. Okay? Just, yeah. It's cleansing. When this stuff happens, be like... All right, crap, get out of me. Get out. That's what that's what's happening. You're gonna have body odor. Um, you, you're gonna have sleep difficulties. Either you can't sleep or you're exhausted. One of the two. You um, have sweaty sleep too. There, there's all kinds of um, uh, signs that this is working. These are these are good signs. Um, and here's the other thing I will say. Uh, the first time I did this cleanse, I had the most symptoms. Um, I, I know I probably shouldn't share this on a video that could be shared with others, but I mean, I was at one point at one night, I was literally like pooping and puking, like 
back and forth and I was like having sweats and I mean it was unbelievable I was burping up diet pills that I used to take when I was 15 I'm not kidding I literally could taste them as I was burping it up going oh my gosh this was the first time I did it now I do the cleanse I barely have any symptoms why because my body's really not that toxic so there's really not that much for it to release so um it's it's part of the cleansing process okay um so th that's the actual food cleanse and really we're really focused on that right now the other thing we want you to keep doing is the morning and evening ritual we want to keep that habit going um very similar to week two and then the last thing we're really going to be focused on this week is just clearing the clutter Okay, that's what we're doing in your body. We're getting rid of the garbage. And we want to do the same thing for you physically. So, you know, clearing the clutter could be as simple as deleting photos on your phone. It could be as simple mm -hmm. as cleaning your closet. And it could take you all week to clean your closet. Or you could do one project per day, just depending on where you're at and how you feel. Mm -hmm. But we just want you to be intentional about clearing clutter. It could be clearing clutter in your mind. It could be some, some stuff you need to journal out and just get rid of. Mm -hmm. It could be, I'm sure you have more ideas. Um, you could you could be at work and you need to get rid of emails or cleaning mm -hmm. off your desktop. Um, it, it can be very simple mm -hmm. um, to deleting, you know, pictures in your phone or voicemails. Um, or it could be much more challenging. Um, so those are your focuses. We're going to cleanse physically. We're going to cleanse by clearing some clutter in our life. And uh, I just want you to know you're incredible. You are about to do something that the average American would never even try to do. If they have a headache, they're just going to take a pill. If they, if they have a skin issue, they're just going to put some steroid cream on it. And then they put a Band-Aid on it, but they don't heal the root issue. And so their health deteriorates. And then when they're old, they're dealing with all kinds of stuff. And I know you're choosing the higher path. You're choosing to take care of yourself. And I'm proud of you for that. And it's not easy. That's why we're here. That's why we have this group. That's why we have this program. We believe in this. And this is what this whole program is all about, is this week. So we want you to take it seriously. We want you to put your best into it. And we want you to um, do the preparation that is the most important. Be committed to it. Whatever's happened up to this point is over. It doesn't matter. What matters is what you do with the cleansing week and what you do from this point, from today, through the rest of the Peaceful Mind Healthy Body. You are incredible. We are so proud of you and we love you. Happy healing and enjoy some power foods.